I think it was two years ago at this conference, or maybe around this time, that you had announced a partnership with, with Expedia. Yes. Uh, but, so honestly, kind of from an outsider looking in, it was kind of hard to see how that partnership was progressing. I think both you and Dara at different times kind of downplayed it on, you know, in your public statements and earnings calls and, and so forth. So what, what changed over the two years? Why, why now? I mean, why not six months ago? Why not next year? Yeah, I mean, uh, well, one of the things that was very Im impressive to us when we first got um, into a partnership with Expedia was just watching their culture of test and learn. And so what you've seen with Expedia over the two years, I think, is number one, a, a ton of patience uh, and a lot of very rigorous testing trying to understand things like cannibalization between vacation rentals and hotels, uh, where are the best places to put them. And, and, and Expedia hasn't done yet a full implementation of HomeAway properties on the site. Well, obviously, uh, now that they're acquiring the company, um, they saw some things that they liked in that. Uh, but the fact is that when you're splitting economics, uh, it's tougher for them to expose our inventory across their portfolio. But when you own 100% of the economics, you know, that changes pretty dramatically. And one of the, one of the nice things about this acquisition is there are still things uh, that are possibly left unknown, but they've spent years playing with our product and I think know exactly what they're getting into. In terms of the question about uh, why now, I mean, we operate still in a very competitive environment, getting more competitive all the time. We have, uh, you know, pure play competitors like Airbnb. We've got Booking.com in the space. Uh, Steve has been in the space for a number of years. Uh, and it's a business that's going through quite a bit of change. You know, when we were first here at Focusrite, uh, I remember telling you that it felt almost a little bit odd to be here because we didn't feel like a travel company so much at the time. We were a marketplace and we felt we were more like eBay. It was a very simple classified type model. And now fast forward 10 years and we are running very, very hard and fast to make the booking experience look as much like the hotel uh, booking experience as we can. And to get through that transition, we're sort of you know, at the last mile of now um, uh, fulfilling a promise we made to Wall Street last year, which is that by the end of 2016, we were going to make everything online bookable on our sites.